Paul McFarland is the new assistant coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs and Leaf Nation couldn't be more ecstatic. Why? Because he took the Florida Panthers to a number two overall ranking during the regular season on their power play um, with a 26.8 uh, success rate. Um, Florida was also ninth in goals for during the regular season with 264. Now the Leafs, in contrast, were third in goals for with 286. But their um, their power play uh, during the regular season ranked eighth with a uh, 21.8%, um, which doesn't seem that bad, right? But in the playoffs, it was ranked tenth of 16 teams with 18.8% six success rates, albeit against the Boston Bruins in seven games. But it's not like Boston had, you know, a top five penalty kill or anything during the regular season. Something needed to be done. Um, uh, I did a, uh, a video on this earlier in the season. Uh, it's in my NHL Opinions playlist titled, How Do You Fix the Stale Maple Leafs Power Play? Maybe I'll try and put a link up to that there. Um, now, McFarlane isn't replacing DJ Smith, who earlier on today, as of recording, um, was hired by the Auto Senators as a new head coach because DJ Smith was head of the penalty kill and the defense. <laughs> He's replacing Jim Hiller, who hasn't officially been fired by the Maple Leafs, but he was granted permission to explore um, opportunities outside the organization. That's a fancy way for saying you're fired, really. Um, I mean, he, he didn't do a horrible job or anything, and he seems to be a good human being. He worked Bab Babcock uh, behind the bench in Detroit, but he, it just wasn't cutting it. When, when you have Matthews and Tavares and Marner and Riley and Kadri on the first power play unit, you got to be doing better. Even on the second power play unit with Kapanen and Janssen and Marlowe and Nylander um, and, and, and Muzzin and Gardner, they, you, know, you can swap in a player in and out. But you see what I mean? It, 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 just, it should be ranked in the top five at the very least, or even in the top three. There were so many, they had such high hopes for that power play, especially after they um, brought on John Tavares. Now, prior uh, to spending um, those two seasons with Florida, uh, Paul McFarland, here's a little bit of history for you, spent three seasons um, as a head coach of the Kingston Frontenacs from 2014 to 2017. Um, that's in the OHL. And he had a record of 111, 71, and 22. Prior to that, he started his coaching career um, as an assistant coach in 2012 um, with the Oshawa Generals in uh, where he was assistant to DJ Smith. Ah, life comes full circle. Uh, yeah, and he, was, he spent two seasons there. Now, as a player, because um, he did play, not in the NHL, didn't play in the NHL. He spent four seasons in the OHL. He recorded 113 points with the Kitchener Rangers and the Windsor Spitfires. Um, as a left winger, he won the Memorial Cup um, with Kitchener in 2003. And um, he served as the captain um, with Windsor in the OHL in his final year. Uh, he then played four seasons with um, Acadia University. And um, he spent the last three seasons from 2010 to 2000, 2007 to 2010 as their captain. Now, back to Florida and what he was doing there. Now, the last two years, Florida got its power play goals from Mike Hoffman, who last year had 17, 17 power play goals, and Alexander Barkov, and both had a shooting percentage of 19% on the power play under McFarlane, especially Hoffman with his wicked one-timers. And one could argue that, you know, Hey, shooting percentage. McFarland didn't do that. I mean, shooting percentages go up and down. Players get hot one year from the next and blah, blah, blah. You know, usually an average shooting percentage, I want to say, during on 5-on-5 five five is somewhere around 10, maybe 12 if you're a better player. On the power play, of course, it goes up. 19 is high. So you could say, well, he didn't do that. As a devil advocate, I'd argue that you can't teach, you can't coach shooting percentage, but you can put your best shooters in spots they score best from. So maybe chew on that. <laughs> um, as always, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments uh, about this hiring in the, uh, in the little box there down below. I would also like to hear who you think the Leafs are going to replace Jim Hiller with. Um, not Jim Hiller. They were replacing Jim Hiller with Paul McFarlane. Who, this is why this is a little confusing. 
who they're going to replace DJ Smith with, because that spot, that uh, defense slash um, penalty kill assistant coach job is now open. Um, let me know what you think of that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hit like if you liked it. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hey, if you happen to have any hockey geek friends, please don't feel shy about sharing. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.